So you wanna? I'll call it. I'll look at the time right now. Let's, let's call it. I'll call it. I'll call it. Thursday, April 11th, 2024, 1:42 p.m. The MCU is dead. The Marvel Cinematic Universe officially died. <laughs> We're sorry to his family. <laughs> to his yeah. loved ones, to his friends. It was self-inflicted. It was definitely self-inflicted. <laughs> it was self-inflicted death. Mm -hmm. But today's episode will be the autopsy of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yep. Hey, bro. Right. That is fair game. Right. That's like fair comments. game. We roast stuff. Right. It's fair game to be roasted back. I don't like... It's crazy to me to comment like, oh, you're... <laughs> Fake laughing Muslim piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's like, right. whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. Well, it's like, why Why are you, why do you want to put that much negativity into the universe? Yeah, what's like, wrong? You know what I mean? Because it's like, because you, you, you think, you think that like, oh, this is anonymous. So uh, it doesn't matter. But like, bro, that shit matters, dog. Like, it's, it's the universe. You get out, you get out what you put in. Thanks. So if you're just putting in negative stuff all the time, even if you're just like, Doing it behind the behind an anime profile picture or whatever the fuck. That does that's good. That's gonna come back to you. With like so, it's like yeah. Why why just be negative all the time? Yeah, it's weird, bro. Val, why are you such a fucking hater? We're talking about Valerie, right? Yeah, yeah, Val, yeah. Val keeps leaving <laughs> negative yeah, comments yeah. under all of our posts. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, why is the Solid Show shitting on itself? Yeah. Stop fake laughing, Hassan, for the Solid Show. <laughs> bro, somebody said that to Hassan. Stop fake laughing. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I'll do what I fucking want. Bro, I'll we'll fake laugh all day. Yeah. Or or, or real or, laugh. Or we're real laughing and we're, we, we might be having a good time with people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't think we're having a good time with professional comedians making them play a silly game or something like that? And you're baked. We're absolutely wow. stoned off our gills every fucking episode. It's the best way to do podcasts. I think it's the only way. I think it's a rule. I think they kill you if you don't do <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get high before a podcast. Yeah, yeah. That's what Joe said. Yeah, yeah. They, they, if you take yourself too seriously, if you're a podcaster, I think they murder you. They murder you, bro. That is crazy. Yeah, it is, I mean, some people have serious podcasts. It's like, yeah, a lot Those of people. Those are good. Those are really important, too. Sure. <laughs> no, sure. bro, you learn sometimes. Yes, I've never sure. listened to one. I've never listened to one of them. But I'm sure they're important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I remember one I listened to about some like kid who tried to join ISIS or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was actually pretty interesting. I think I listened to one uh, full Rogan where he talked to uh, the Jake the Snake guy. Oh, the, the wrestler. wrestler. Yeah, yeah. That was serious. And mm -hmm. I think I listened to that. That was a great episode of like, but I think that's the only time I've ever listened to like a podcast, a serious podcast. Mm. Yeah, I just like, yeah, I want to have a good time when I, yeah, I'm trying to listen to podcasts. I'm not, I'm not trying to like, I'm not really trying to learn that much. Yeah, and I the other want to hear about murders and shit. I, I, do, I do like those ones. Yeah, but I do, I listen to the comedy ones. This is what they, like the last podcast on the left. Where they like try to make it funny. <laughs> Wait, like rapes and murders? Yeah, hilarious, dude. <laughs> no, they have they they make jokes and stuff all the time about rapes and murders. Yeah, about real rapes and murders. About like like horrible, like terrible. How could this is the depths of humanity? And then yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> like I like shout out to they don't need my shout out, but shout out to the last podcast on the left. Damn, there's, I'm sure there's something, there's somebody listening to this podcast right now going, I've never heard of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they do a lot of. I've never lot, heard of it until right now. Yeah, they do a lot of paranormal stuff. They do a lot of like they do, and they're and they're like their like series on like the serial killers like Ted Bundy and like Jeffrey Dahmer. They're always like three to four episodes. They like really go in depth into like who this person was and how how they formed and they they all have the same they all have the same like almost the same backstory of like of like they all peed the bed they all had some sort of head trauma they all like murdered animals they all set things on fire yeah yeah the Derek Poston story <laughs> that's, what, that's what I got it's the Derek Poston you know Wait, how can you list those things again <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 head trauma peed the bed uh, and, uh hurt animals <laughs> I've killed an animal before. You've killed an animal before? Yeah, I've killed an animal before. Whoa, in what way? I choked it. I fought it with my bare hands. No. <laughs> Yo, real talk? Man, it's crazy. I did this one time. Damn, bro. I was a little kid, and I would go to the lake, and we had uh, geese on our lake. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's also it's a crazy life story, yeah. but I remember we had geese on the lake. Bro, I'm a young kid, who, and I was throw rocks in the lake, right. but they're so far away. Right, right. So I never hit one. Mm -hmm. 
I got older. <laughs> <laughs> I got stronger. <laughs> you don't know you're getting stronger. And dude, I have a, as you know, I, you have a, yeah, you have I an got arm. an arm. You have an arm. This is when I realized. <laughs> so one day I threw one of those rocks and bro, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the noise? <laughs> Did I nail that noise? <laughs> Bro, I ran. I ran. I ran so fast. I ran, bro. That shit was traumatizing. Yeah. Yeah. And ever since then, I've been killing ducks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ever since then, I've been terrified of all animals. No, like, because, like, that, that was the, I remember that moment, though, of like, what the fuck? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah. You just, also, I mean, bro, you just, I'm like eight, seven, mm -hmm. you know, you just like, where you're like, whoa, I can't believe that happened. Right. Yeah, that's yeah like, what? Well, you know, the million dollar question is, did it get you hard? <laughs> if the answer is no, you're not a serial killer. If the answer is yes, you might be. <laughs> that's the question. My dick hasn't been soft since. <laughs> <laughs> is that weird? Is that not supposed to be? <laughs> what does that do for you? <laughs> does that get you hard? <laughs> Damn, bro, I connected, bro. That was crazy. I that's connected right wild. Like, so just... this, but, like, you know, but you're like, like, that's like, that's not, obviously, that's not what serial killers do. They're not like, Doing what they normally do one day, and like, oh shit, I'm older and stronger now. I didn't realize that I had the power to do this. Maybe I shouldn't do this again. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, they're like, ooh, next time. But also, you knew. Next you know, time, I'm gonna throw the, throw it at the goose and then skin it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like those serial killers <laughs> yeah, do. You're right. You know yeah. what I felt like? Because uh, it, it's such a that scene from Kill Bill too. You know mm -hmm. where he's explaining like life or death to the daughter. Right. And she stepped on the goldfish, and she's like, oh, she knew what she was doing. You know, she right. pulled it out and stepped on it. Right. Type shit. Yes. Type shit. Where it's like, I knew what I was like. I'm throwing a rock. Mm -hmm. I'm, I know it, like you, like it's gonna. I, you know what I'm saying? You knew what you was doing, right? It's crazy. Why I was like, why was I, why was I doing that as a kid? Who knows, bro? We, all, I mean, we all sort of do. Like, uh, I don't know. I feel like most kids have a killing ants phase. Yeah, why was I doing that? Because you're because they're just so insignificant and so small that you're not realizing like this is a life that I'm killing. I went to that. That's as far as that's as far as like killing animals for me have gone. I thought you killed something before. No. Didn't you kill a pig? No. With with Dean. No, no, I skinned a deer that was already dead. That's what you did. Okay, okay. Yeah, but that's like a whole different thing. That was, that was like, already dead, but I'm saying you didn't kill it. Yeah, yeah and, and that wasn't like a, this is fun. <laughs> no, no, that was a, like, that was a, like, like, it was a very respectful, like, oh, like, this is what you're supposed to do when you eat an animal. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're supposed to kill it. You're supposed to, you know what I mean? Like, we, we, were, we were processing it for food. We weren't like, let's just skin this deer for fun. Damn, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but I've never actually, like, killed an animal. I don't think. I don't think I've like run over anything as far as I remember. I almost hit a deer once with my car, but that was the deer's fault. <laughs> he was talking shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fuck you say about Mosina? No. Uh, no, yeah, it was just I was, you know, by my place and I just ran in front of my car. Damn. And I was like, yeah, if I hit you, you deserve that. Damn, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad about that duck now. Even thinking about it, I think about him all the time. <laughs> yeah. Gerald. Gerald, you named, it, you named it post killing it? That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro, killing shit's bad. Mm -hmm. Killing shit's bad. That's as bad as hating in the comments. <laughs> I still feel bad about the ants sometimes. Like, damn, I just did that. No reason. I just in my backyard, just chilling. And, I mean, look at all the bug assault things you killed. Oh yeah, I mean, I still kill bugs in my house. Cockroaches done. You say that with spiders a little bit of pride. done. Snakes. Ah, oh, no, I don't want to fuck this. Something that can but bite would back. you kill it? If I had to, yeah. If it was, like, in my space, and the only way I could do it is deal with it is kill it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, Like a Harry Potter's Chamber of Secrets situation. Oh, if I could talk to it? That's a whole different situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, if I could talk to it, I'd talk to it first. <laughs> you trying to negotiate? You trying to negotiate? Yeah. <laughs> trying to, to defuse the situation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Cut to you and the snake are just watching Harry Potter on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just super stoned. <laughs> super stoned. Just in the soul stone. Wait, 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 wait. This is a this is a cartoon. Is that there how is you're a cartoon. Here? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> was that not scared you? Was, I forgot you were here. What? Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, I've heard oh. of this. Oh my god, that's me and a snake. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, I've heard of this show. Oh, Sanjay's mom white? I mean, I'm looking at their family. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, his dad's VJ. His 
wife is Darlene. It's got a uh, Bob's Burger animation. Yeah, it does got Bob's Burger. What was this on? Uh, um, Amazon? 13 to 20. Nickelodeon. 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 Sanjay and Craig. Three seasons. Yeah. I wonder who Sanjay is and who's Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> I wonder which one's which. Craig is the snake. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Val. I couldn't figure that one out. And Val saves the day <laughs> yet again. <laughs> That's another episode of Val. Val saves, saves the, the day. day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's an actual cartoon. Oh, yeah, this okay. cartoon looks fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that cartoon looks fucking yeah, awesome. That was crazy. That is wow. That, you know what's funny is when you look at kids' shows, you're like, oh, the amount of like actual drugs. That everyone was on when the show was made. Yeah. With like the amount of acid it must have taken to come up with SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> I think about that all the time. The yeah, amount of just straight crazy, drugs it must have taken. That's a crazy mushroom tr trip. Yeah, right? To come up with that. That's a crazy yeah. mushroom trip. Yeah. <laughs> what if the starfish is retarded? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what? Like, yeah, Yo, the, and the what lobster's the, a bodybuilder. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the squid played clarinet. It's like, whoa. And the crab's a cheap fuck. A cheap fuck. The crab's a cheap His daughter's fuck. a whale and we never explain it. One of the best bits of all time. <laughs> One of the, Mr. Crab's daughter's a whale and there's no explanation. Yeah. And it does, he don't say he adopted her. No, no. I assume that Pearl is his biological daughter. I've always assumed And you that. know what I love? He treats her like one and that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it's <laughs> that's all that matters. That's a good point. <laughs> that's the, that's yeah. the true essence of parenting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like even if she's not your actual daughter, she, even if she's a fucking fat whale. <laughs> <laughs> even if she's a fat fucking whale, you love it. You love your kid. You gotta love your kid, dude. No matter how fat and just whale like, <laughs> all the blubber on them. You love them. You love them like, like they're your own. Right. That's right. <laughs> what you got to do. Damn, bro. I didn't realize that about SpongeBob. It's really about parenting. It's, yeah, it's all about a lot of things. It's about being happy with your situation, yeah. even if you're a fry cook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. SpongeBob's parents are also kind of retarded. They, like, show them occasionally, and they're not, like, they also dumb, bro. Yeah, they're sweet. They're super sweet. They're sweet, but then they say stuff and do stuff, you're like, Oh, you see it. You're like, oh, there it is. Right, right, That's right. why he, there's a reason he's like this. Right. <laughs> there's a reason Sponge right. is like this, bro. He, he be tripping. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm bro. Ready. He, be, he be tripping, yeah. bro. SpongeBob be tripping. Pull up, SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> Pull this nigga up, bro. I haven't looked at him in a while. God, I, what I, when I, last time you looked at SpongeBob? For real. When's the last time you seen him? It's been a while. It's been a while since I seen him. Look at this nigga. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look at how happy he is. He's always so happy. It's just really the power of positivity. Yo, who was it? Oh, uh, it's Pearl. I saw a, I saw a great clip of, a, of I think it was one of the Harbaugh Harbaugh brothers, mm -hmm. and he was like how he uses SpongeBob in his motivational speeches. Mm -hmm. and he loves them, and, they, and they, the players are like, "Yo, why do you always use SpongeBob?" And he was like, "Because that guy just gets up every day and he goes to work." <laughs> <laughs> just such a coach mindset, like, but he does. He does, and he's and happy, he, and he loves his job, and he does he does his job one hundred and ten percent every time. Mm -hmm. And it's not about the money. This nigga's a fry cook, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a fry cook, bro, uh -huh. and he loves that shit. And he works with a nigga Who's... who works the cash the cash register, and he hates his job. Yeah, yeah. Truly, it shows you life, bro. It's all mm -hmm. perspective. Squidward can have a great life. He's got great neighbors who love him. Yeah. I mean, yeah, now then again, they do be fucking his shit up. Well, because he wants to be, they, he does, Squidward is the guy who, there's people who want to be alone. That's fine, which is fine. Especially in their own space. I want to be alone in my own space, which that, is fine. He should be allowed that. They do, yeah. be, they do be breaking into his house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do be breaking into Squidward's house yeah. and causing a goddamn yeah, ruckus. Yeah. He's and asleep then, and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. And, like, and then everyone's like, why are you such an asshole? It's like, no, that's his space. Bro, they broke it. Yeah. They break in and entering. Yeah. And filling my house up with bubbles <laughs> and, and, and mayonnaise. And like yeah. the whole house is covered in mayonnaise. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, see, we, we only see the episode in when his house covered in mayonnaise. We don't have to see the months of him cleaning it. Yeah. Like and then guy. they do it again? Right. Right. I think about all the times, bro, they done fuck Squidward's house up. Mm-hmm. What, what, you know what's funny? It's crazy that the show, I think it's still going, right? Yes, I believe so. Can we check it to see if it's still on? At what point did you stop watching? Um, I mean, 14 seasons. Dear God. Yeah. Is it still, when was the last season that came out? It was 2024. March 1st, 2024. So it's still they're still making new episodes. This was last month. This is this month. Bro, no, look at the month. episode title. Blood is thicker, thicker than, than Greece. Greece. Genius. <laughs> Mama Geddon. Mama Geddon. Pet Rock. Damn. Yeah, they're still they're still going at it.
Bro, it's crazy all the things they've done, bro. They've included stand up. They've mm-hmm. included like all kind mm-hmm. of shit in this show. I is I think I was I sort of aged out of it when the movie came out. The movie was the last thing. The movie I was the last thing. Mm-hmm. You know what's funny? I didn't even see the movie till recently because I didn't even watch. But that's when I was like, I'm too old. Yeah. Or yeah. or just <laughs> I'm watching other shit now. Just got you get you get, get into other old. shit. Um, the original, the, you know, it's one of those things where the first three, se- the, you know, how the when the first showrunner was with it, yeah, the original showrunner, how it was amazing, yeah. Some of those episodes still hold up. Like if you watch the Bandcamp episode or the band episode, the Bubble Bowl, bro, you'll still laugh. It's incredible. Is mayonnaise an instrument, bro? All time great line. It's <laughs> in. It's incredible. Cre- Yo, remember when Patrick is like, you know. He peeks his head in. He's like, "Whoever has a red sedan, you left your lights on." And, and this nigga comes, comes in. And he's, he's completely. He's yeah, like, he's inside the trombone. He's inside the trombone. <laughs> like, yeah. Bro, that's crazy. Who put the trombone through that nigga? Sandy. That's why was he talking shit? Yeah, he was talking shit. <laughs> and Sandy kicked his ass. Sandy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sandy, fuck that. Sandy's from Texas. Damn. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, an immigrant in Bikini Bottom. Yeah, she lived a tough life. Yeah, she was a land animal in the bottom of the ocean. And like, bro, they really showed too, like when they the comedy mm-hmm. episode when he making fun when he makes fun of her and he's mm-hmm. like, "Squirrels are all dumb niggers." Or yeah, he, he said some shit yeah, like that. yeah, he does say that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I forgot he does make fun of Sandy and like she has to just sit there and take it, damn, because it's like killing. Yeah. But then, like, it happens. But then it's crazy because then, like, people in the town start tripping. Yeah. yeah remember, yeah. like, a mom sees her in the grocery store. She's like, he's like, oh, look, mama's gross. She's like, oh, don't get too close, honey. You'll catch it stupid. Yeah. And it's like, hey, 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 now you trip. Now, like, it I went from being comedy to, like, <laughs> the comedy club to, like, you you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what people do, though, bro. They bring shit in the real world. I like this talk. I like making SpongeBob super serious. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it is about life, man. Sometimes you have a robot wife that's a bitch and you got to deal with it. Actually, Plankton's wife was pretty cool. Karen? No, Karen was straight. Karen was straight. She's kind of hot, too. Sure. You didn't think Karen was sexy? No. Not at all. This is very, that's Karen right there. She's a good woman. She's a good woman. She does care about Plankton. She like, does, even, though, even though when Plankton's, like, clearly, Plankton's tripping, Karen's like, come on, Plankton. You know what I mean? She's <laughs> always on his side. She's always supportive of him, even though his, he has crazy harebrained schemes. Yeah, you know what I'm realizing mm-hmm. about Plankton and Karen? Mm-hmm. That's the original movie, Her. <laughs> the one with Joaquin. <laughs> That's where the movie Her came from. Came from. Mm. Yeah, but like in the movie Her, the AI is like cheating on, not cheat, but has having like just like thousands of relationships at once. I don't think Karen's like that. You don't. Know. I think Karen's a good woman. You don't. Know. What if Karen's working for all the chum buckets? It's nationwide. First of all, there's clearly only one chum bucket. It's a dying franchise. There's no way. There's no way it could get off the ground. Damn, it is a dying franchise. How does he keep that shit open? It's drug front, probably. Drug front or rich parents. Yeah, we don't really get into Plankton's history. Mm-hmm. We don't know. He could have rich parents. That's just funding his dreams of owning a restaurant called Chum Bucket. Have you heard that theory about how the Hershey Crab is like they sell crab meat? Well, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's shaped like a crab trap. And that's what they say. He, he catches that's, other crabs. He's the only crab around. Mm-hmm. He catches other crabs and he turns them into Krabby Patties. That makes a lot of sense. Damn. Makes sense, too, because crab cakes are good as fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's also why he's so guarded of the formula. Yeah. He's like, damn, he's just killing his own people for money, which is what people do. <laughs> which is what people do. They'll turn on their own people for money in a second. Damn, bro. In this show is second. deep. I'm high as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This show, dude, SpongeBob will teach you something about life. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob, bro, SpongeBob, don't play, dog. Damn, bro. It was such a good show. I loved watching that shit as a kid, dog. Mm-hmm. It was such a good time. No, it, and it was one of those shows my mom, like, every week she would watch with me. She likes SpongeBob, too. It's one of those things that adults can get into. Dude, your mom gets it. Yeah, I'm telling you, it, 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 it's one of the, you know, every once in a while there's those shows that, like, oh, you can watch with, like, you know. Uh, when my sister was a kid, I liked watching Phineas and Ferb with her. It was a good show. Damn. It was a good show. Mm-hmm. Yo, Mark told me about a show It has like a platypus in it That's Phineas and Ferb Perry the Platypus Yeah, bro That show that Yo, show. Mark Gagnon explained to me Perry the Platypus Uh-huh Oh my god Dude, that shit rips Apparently, he like What, like you can't He, he dresses up in like disguise and shit Yeah Yeah, yeah, he dresses up in disguise And then he'll take the disguise off he'll, Yeah, so he'll take the disguise off And the, the, the bad guy will go Platypus <laughs> and, then, and then he'll put the hat on And be like, Perry Platypus, as if there's other platypuses around fucking his shit up. So funny. <laughs> That's doofenshmirtz. Yo, 
That's so funny, so, bro. But his backstory is that his mom abandoned him before birth. <laughs> right? Right? So he's just in the hospital alone. <laughs> 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 mom left before he was born. Yeah, did you watch the show growing up, Val? Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, this, yeah that yeah. show rips. Yeah. Fizz and Fred I was rips. Old, I was too old and I didn't have a younger sibling, Yeah, bro. you didn't have a younger sibling. Damn. Yeah, there was no, there was no way I would have watched it. Uh, I, I don't know if I would have heard of it if it wasn't for my sister. And there's an Indian guy, too. Who's, his name is Sanjay? Is his name Sanjay? I think so. I think Shut up. Look, look up Indian guy Phineas and Ferb. No, his name's Baljeet. 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 It was Baljeet. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I, you should watch this, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd actually... You know what's crazy? It, is it, it, it I mean, the way when Mark first explained it to me, I was like, damn, this sounds like the greatest show of all time. Yeah, it, no, and it, now y'all are co-signing it, it? Rotten Tomatoes, 100%. Bro, this show rips. It's on Disney Plus? It's on Disney Plus, for sure. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. I might have to watch Phineas and I mean, they also have movies. You can start with just the movie. I mean, I would what? start with the TV show. Yeah, the TV show. But so, so you know what the premise of the? Did you tell me what the premise of the show is? No. The premise of the show is they're in summer vacation from school and they're just trying to do cool shit. It's like, what can we do in our summer vacation? And they like invent shit and stuff. And then, for nine seasons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Four then seasons. Uh, and then the and then the sister. Her whole thing is she tries to catch them doing things like you know what I mean. Catch them in their scheme that she always fails. So that's the, she's always the foot that always. She's Vicky. She's Vicky. She's Vicky, but she's more likable. Oh, you like her? You like, yeah, yeah. Even though she's trying to catch them, you, she, you still like her. Yeah, Vicky was icky. Yeah. <laughs> Such a reference, if you know it. Yeah. Uh, fairly Odd Parents doesn't hold up like that. What do you mean? Like SpongeBob does. We, I was bored, we were bored one day, me and my old roommate, Senefani. We were watching, like, on Disney Plus. We had, like, they had old SpongeBob and old uh, uh, Fairly Odd Parents. Mm -hmm. SpongeBob holds up, Fairly Odd Parents doesn't. That's, yeah. mm -hmm. Now, whenever I see a SpongeBob mm -hmm. clip, like on TikTok or some shit, I'll watch right. it. I'll stop watching. Yeah, yeah. And there's so many catchphrases like, "Oh, brother, this, this guy, guy sings!" sings. Like that, yeah. that shit's like yeah. in the fabric of society, my nigga. Right, right. Or like you said, "I'm ready." Like any uh, of that I'm shit. Uh, <laughs> like that shit's like a part of culture, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crazy, it's still going on. Yeah, I, I remember being like, "This is how you know I went to a hood ass middle school." Mm -hmm. I used to think it was so cool that people had clothing with the SpongeBob on it, because in black schools that was like a cool thing. Mm. If you had like a like a NASCAR jacket with SpongeBob on it, mm. it was like <laughs> <laughs> that was such a big deal, bro. Damn, you remember SpongeBob clothing? Was that a thing? No, no, no. We're not black, so um, <laughs> that didn't. <laughs> 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 yes. So fucking racist, man. <laughs> yeah, Val, I can't believe you laughed at that. Uh, <laughs> that's the real racism. Yo, should we tell what we're here for, for today? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of uh, universes, I guess. Speaking of death, speaking of universes, shout out OJ Simpson. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out OJ, OJ Simpson, Simpson died today. Put oh, a yeah, time stamp yeah, on yeah, this episode. Yeah, put a time stamp on Yeah, OJ Simpson is dead. Is no longer anymore. He's, he's, he's in the Ford Bronco in the sky. Yep. <laughs> Nicole Brown's slow plan finally worked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she finally got her revenge. Yeah, yeah. You know, kill build that son of a bitch. Killed OJ. Killed OJ. What a legend. Yeah, right? What a life, man. Right? To be the NFL's leading rusher and then also get away with murder. I mean, that's so many things that's in one life. That's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. And be in uh, those movies that he did. Oh, Naked Gun. Naked Gun. Movies? He was great in Naked Gun. That's what I'm saying. He was hilarious. And a commercial. Mm -hmm. Very famous when commercials were like really famous thing that be on. Right, he had a very famous one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah, he was on his way to being a movie star. He yeah. was like he was. You know who he was? He was. They had him commentating on yeah. NFL, NFL games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like he was gonna Juice. be the. He was gonna be so famous for the rest. Of, you know what I mean? He was gonna and be a part of American being, culture. And he ended up being even more, more famous, famous than, than that. Th yeah, that he really. I think in a way that he did not anticipate <laughs> that was possible. Yeah, 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 it's like wow, damn. Well, at least he got away with murdering a couple of people. I know he brutally too. Yeah, just horribly. <laughs> good so lawyers, cool. though. That's how that's how much a good lawyer can get you off. Damn, bro. Mm -hmm. Man, well, you got to be likable too. You got to be yeah. a likable person. Made bro. that whole trial about race, even though OJ, I'm not black. I'm OJ. You got that guy off on a race related, like you know what I mean? Like Crazy. made that guy a racial hero. Such a good lawyer. Right. <laughs> Such a good lawyer. Shout out Johnny Cochran. Shout out Johnny, yeah. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true R.I.P. him. Yeah, true R.I.P. him. He did his job. Yeah. I like when people do their job. Mm -hmm. Fucked. You got a murder off. That kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah. God, that sucks. Everyone's bad. I'm high, so I'm like, these are all bad things. Hey, you pay enough money, you get you can get someone to do anything, right? 
like, I think John, I, you, but Johnny Cochran got paid enough money to truly, in his heart, believe that OJ didn't do it, and that's how he got him off. Yeah. Like he was like, "All right, you gave me this amount of money, I can make myself believe he didn't do it." DNA evidence is not really, really a thing yet. Awesome. Awesome, right, dude? OJ was like Indiana Jones, dog, slid right in before the DNA evidence stuff like was like a thing. I know. Grabbed his hat on the way out. Woo! <laughs> Grabbed his glove. His nice shit. Yeah, his glove. Woo! His glove you know. That didn't fit. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God that got in before the door closed. Oh my! People God. didn't trust DNA, and that's what fucking helped them. Isn't that kind of cool? God, humans are so stupid. Because like, what are we doing now? That's so dumb. I'm st- I, I can't wait. Oh yeah, yeah. And like ten years from now, people will be like, I can't believe people like that. Like, you know how sometimes yeah. when you look back at like the eighteen hundreds and you're like, how the fuck did they do live without TV or whatever? The yeah, fuck? yeah, AC, AC, and like a map. Yeah. I, I always think that th- that's always mind blowing to me is that like in like eighteen forty, people in New York were like, I'm gonna go to Oregon, and then they they did. <laughs> it's like, how the fuck did you do that? How did you even know Oregon was a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How the fuck you you see how like nondescript Texas is? If this was empty, how like easily you can get lost when it's just pure plains? I can't imagine. And, and you it goes made, forever. Yeah, and you made it to Oregon? That's insane. I can't I can't go to places I've been to without my GPS. Yeah, we're so stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like places I go to, sometimes I need my GPS. Yeah. These motherfuckers uh, yeah. were going across the country. Yeah, I think the great I think the invention that changed us, it was the air conditioner. I think that's the one that separated it. Like truly separated us. Of mm-hmm. Like, oh shit. Mm. We are gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can create our own palaces. We can create our own temperature, our own weather. Mm-hmm. We're all we're all really like little Jews in our house. <laughs> we're all controlling the weather of our place. Damn, so we all Jewish. <laughs> you know? We're all the chosen people a little bit. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Palestine needs to realize that. <laughs> I, just, I don't even know what's going on. Is that the right thing? Which one's which one's Palestine? Which one's the other one? <laughs> like, what's happening over there? Is that still happening? Yeah, of course. Get over it. Hey, what has not that? The, in, they they enti- need to get over it. Our entire life, when has that not been happening? I know. Why? Mm-hmm. Chill. Well, you know what? It, it, it's it's interesting watching the conquering of a land in modern times. Because you know what I mean? Like, everyone's like, this is horrible. But it's like, this is what's been happening through all of history all the time. Yeah. Where people just lose their lands and get wiped off. And it's like, well, now we just get to see it happen in the social media era. Ooh. Same, same shit, different flavor. Yeah, now it's got sponsors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sponsored by Blue Chew or whatever the fuck, whoever's that's sponsoring is. Right, that's who's sponsoring Hamas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's Blue Chew? It's Blue Chew. Can you... <laughs> Damn, bro. Blue Chew, stop. Yeah. <laughs> stop, bro. These guys are revved up and up. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening over there. What's happening? Uh, so, ah, shut up. It's your fault. Anyway. Yeah, nothing good. <laughs> it's probably whatever I mean, it is. It's your fault. Hey, Val's fault for sure. Nothing good. We do get, and that's one of the comments we also get. It's like, how like we we, we we on the uh, on the uh, which episode was it recently? Oh yeah, on the Brian episode, someone one of the comments was, "How come comedians are afraid to talk about Israel Palestine?" It's like, what? <laughs> this is about anime, dog. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, it's so funny to say afraid. Yeah, yeah, to not even consider that no one knows anything about it. <laughs> no one the- knows. No one, and I hate to say this, cares. Well, it's it is like it it, it is like. Oh, the, you know, I could say like, "Hey, what Israel is doing is bad." And it's like, or you know what I mean, like because that's, that's what they want us to say too. And it's like, well, I'm not gonna do anything about it. Everything's bad. Everything's bad. What am I supposed to care about, bro? Everything is bad. I haven't even seen Dune two yet. <laughs> I can't care about all the things. All right, that's <laughs> fucking crazy. I don't. I, I gotta call my mom more. Yeah, and it's and and the reality is is like, you people like go out and say something. And first of all, everyone's talking about it. And two, it's like. Bro, Palestine's own allies in the region are doing nothing. What do you expect a guy with a mid-level podcast to care to do something? Mid. Mid. I'm gonna say mid. I'm putting us, I'm putting us in that universe. We're gonna say mid. We're gonna say mid-level. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, we'll let the we'll let the people who the big podcast handle Israel Palestine. You yeah, know, like yeah. Dax Shepard and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's Dax Shepard's problem. It's not our problem. When we get to Dax Shepard level, we'll tackle Israel Palestine. <laughs> Until we get to that level, yeah. we'll let Dak Shepard yeah. handle it. Yeah, Wait, well, because I would say Israel and Palestine are some bad friends, and that's who should be tackling that issue. <laughs> yeah, bigger podcast. Yeah, yeah, big, much bigger podcast than us. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we got to tackle what we're tackling today. Oh yes, which what is actually very important to us. Mm-hmm. 
This is very important to us. Mm -hmm. Asan, you want to? I'll call it. I'll look at the time right now. Let's, let's call it. I'll call it. I'll call it. Thursday, April 11, 2024, 1.42 p.m. The MCU is dead. The Marvel Cinematic Universe officially died. <laughs> We're sorry to its family, <laughs> to its loved ones, to its friends. Uh, it was a suicide. <laughs> It was self-inflicted. It was definitely self-inflicted. <laughs> it was self-inflicted death. Mm -hmm. But today's episode will be the autopsy of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yep. We will go through the body. Mm -mm. We will figure out why it died. Yes. <laughs> yes. We will learn how it lived. Mm -hmm. and, and by the way, we mean the Cinematic Universe. We're not talking about the comics, because every time we talk about this, they're like, well, in the comics, this is... No, hey. Hey. Shut up. Hey, that's not what we're not a fan of the comics. Sorry, we're a fan of the cinematic universe. Not fucking nerds. We're talking about the <laughs> movies. <laughs> not nerds. Uh, but yes, me. I, I. I mean, this universe, these movies, truly shaped me mm. as a man. Mm. I am Captain America. <laughs> I am Iron Man. You know what I mean? I am Thanos. I'm all these men. I'm Black Widow sometimes. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm a sexy little slut. But I, these these movies were literally some of the greatest movies ever made. Some of my favorite movies. I, the way it was built, the world. Mm -hmm. So, what we're about to go through is not like we're just shitting on it. Like I, I truly love this universe, but I I do believe it's completely over. Yeah, I it's think, actually dead. Yeah, it's it's hard. Like I, I do want to put this out there of like greatest film series of all time. Mm -hmm. I would put it up there. I, you know, it's, if it's not number one, you have to argue about it. You have to argue it. I'm just um, number one. I think it's over I, Harry Potter. I think it's over well, Lord yeah, of the Rings. O over, J over James Bond. Over Star Wars. Over, over James Bond. Yeah. Any, anything that's a franchise like mm -hmm. that, it's number one. It's the greatest franchise of all time. Um, shame that none of the movies won an Oscar. Did they? Did none of them win an Oscar? Or did they, did they give Black Panther one of those? No, Black you're Panther a you're a nominated. Minority. And I think uh, certain actors have won Oscars, I think, because I think... Uh, mm. The black lady in Black Panther. I think she won. Not for Black Panther. Angela Bassett. No, not for Black Panther. I think she black got Panther nominated. Too. I think she got nominated. I don't think she won. Oh. Well, yeah, it was I mean, Jesus Christ. We'll get to all that shit show. Yeah. We'll get to all the shit shows. Right. Well, I mean, we got we got to start with the biggest shit show. The one we the one the reason why we the reason doing... it's dead. Yeah. So we just watched the Marvels. We were mm -hmm. like, all right, what's the most recent? Because we've seen all of them, and that's the one we hadn't seen. So they're like, all right, I, I watched it on a plane. Asan watched it recently. Yes. So let's watch the Marvels, and that's why we were like, oh, this is dead. It's completely. Dead. I don't know what. I mean, maybe dead. Yeah. I mean, there are, there are some movies I'll still go to the movies for. Right. But it's not for everything now. And the show, the shows, of course, were just giving stabbing it. Right. The shows were just well, stabbing it because it just it, that's what it was helped bleeding it out. Yeah. Well, to me, that's one of the one of the reasons why it's dead. It's bloat. But the Marvels killed it. Yeah. That's the biggest shit dog shit <laughs> women suck movie. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you hate women. Yeah. It's. Brown women the most. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, what's you know what's funny is because I watched so I watched the Marvels and then I didn't I've never seen Captain Marvel so I went back and we watched Captain Marvel. Okay, and it was so funny to me that they shooed in all the women stuff because the movie was Captain Marvel wasn't a bad movie, but like they did shoehorn in all this women stuff and the movie didn't have to be about that. Yeah, it's like I don't know I don't know what it is that happened in movies where recently. Where movies about women had to explicitly state girl power, explicitly state look at us women doing it yep. against in a man's world. Like when did that happen? Aliens wasn't like that. Fucking Hunger Games wasn't really like that. No. Fucking Kill Bill definitely wasn't like that. No. So like we've had plenty of strong and there's so many other movies out there where it's a strong uh, female lead. Devil Wears Prada. Devil Wears Prada. There are countless movies. Where there is a strong female lead, where everyone loves them, or hates them, or whatever, or, hates the them, or whatever, yeah. but like where they never had to explicitly go, look at us girls doing it. They just the girls just did it. Yep. When did this start happening? Why did this start happening? I don't understand. Like clearly, like they act like all these movies didn't exist. Like oh, women, now you have something for you, and it's like they've all there's there's been things for women before. Yeah, and you can also just make more things for women, but that's how stupid. Mm -hmm. They're also, I mean, they're playing to the lowest common denominator. You're playing to people who, I mean, tr people who are in that Hollywood kind of circle. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it 100. Yeah. You're in a Hollywood kind of circle, so you're in that kind of bubble, and those are the people who are the, the dumbest, who would say things like, oh, man, girls are strong, and girls, like, they actually say things like that. Right. And you want to show that in the film. Right. You know what I mean? But, like, it's... it's but they're the, that dumb that they think, like, oh, we got to say it. Like, that's how you show it, is you say it. Right, and it's the number one thing. I learned this in my freshman year creative writing class. Show, don't tell. Oh, yeah. 
just show the women being strong. The second that you're like, we're strong, like, bro, in Marvels, in the Marvels, when he goes, when she can't fly, and then Samuel L. Jackson goes, black girl magic, and she just learns how to fly. It's like, in what world, bro, for Iron Man to grow, he had to almost die six times and then actually die at the end to become a full character. Yeah. It's not like Iron Man was struggling with something and Nick Fury was like, hey, Iron Man, white power. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, why, why, why is that all it takes for her to grow as a person? Like, she just has to realize she's a woman? That's not how black things woman. work. A black woman, sorry. That's not how things work. That's not how character development works. It's like, oh, you can just do it now because you can. But that's been, I mean, uh, uh, Val, can we pull up the list of movies? Uh, I, want, I want to see the list of Marvel, Marvel, Marvel films. Yeah, let's go. Go feature, to, uh, go feature, to feature film. films. Right here. List of cinematic Marvel Mar cinematic. Yep, yeah, li that, list up top. We'll click that's up top beautiful. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, scroll down, please. Scroll down, There's please. There's got to be a straight up list here. There we go. Okay, there we okay, go. Okay. Beautiful. So let's leave it right here. Uh, can you scroll down? Scroll down. We'll, we'll, go, to, we'll go to the Marvel's birth in a second. Mm -hmm. But keep there. Going, keep going. Yeah. Yes, right here. Mm -hmm. So right here, there is a theme that starts happening. So this is the, what's this called? The multiverse universe, the multiverse saga? Scroll, yeah, the multiverse saga. It starts with Black Widow. Mm -hmm. Which was very, very completely unnecessary. Unnecessary and a, a little bit of you feeling the girl power vibes. Uh, I, Not I, all the way, a little bit. Eternals, you feel it. Right. They, they, they do some moments where like they show a woman come. Yeah, yeah, Which yeah. is crazy. Yeah, yeah, Why did they show a woman come? Also, so important. But, but you see what I'm saying? Doctor Strange, my point is, they do the same thing. Mm -hmm. the, uh, she, her, her powers at the end is just she realizes she can do it. Yeah. Uh, Thor Love and Thunder is just dog shit. Yeah. Uh, I try to like it, but man, it just every time I, I rewatch it, it's like, wow, it's even worse. And then Black Panther, Wakanda kind of Forever, they do the woman thing as well. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and then the woman thing in Ant Man, Qu Quantum Media, they yeah, do the woman thing. Yeah, yeah. So, wow, it's literally a thing. It's, it's, so, this is where that happened. Right. 2021. Right. Post pandemic. Yep. The world went crazy. World went crazy. I, didn't, I don't remember the Black Widow being so, so much of a woman thing necessarily. My issue with Black Widow so much is, is just like, who gives a shit? She's dead. She's fucking dead. I don't care. She's dead. She's. I know. I yet. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I don't need her backstory now. It was kind of cool. She didn't have a backstory. It was kind of cool. She said she was just Black Widow, and she was part of the gang, and she sacrificed herself to for humanity. Yes. That's that's all we needed. Badass. That's all we needed. That was our first. Like, this is bad. It was unnecessary. It was unnecessary. But and, even in this, they had some. Look at the big hits. You yeah. had Shang Chi. You had no Spider way home. Spider Man No Way Home. Those, I mean, those were the the, the last two sort of Spider Man No Way Home. Well, actually, Guardian. We'll get no, Guardians no, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. yeah. Spider Man No Way Home is like fan, that was fantastic. That was a fantastic movie, and that was like okay, maybe this has a maybe this is going somewhere. Wait, No Way Home is a uh... the one with the all three Spider Man. Oh, that was Beyonce. That was yeah. as good as that's one of the best movies I've ever seen. That movie yeah. holds. Yeah. That movie holds up right now. Eternals was crazy. I don't know what they saw. In like, cause, cause it's it's directed by the same lady who directed Nomadland, and that movie's the worst shit ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah sh shit in the bucket. The movie. Um, <laughs> hey, everyone, wanna 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 see what's her name? Frances McDormand. Frances McDormand, shit in the bucket. It's crazy they gave her an Oscar just because she pooped in a bucket. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's literally that's why. You know, they were like, cause I'm sure the Oscar Academy's watching her shit in that bucket, going, mm -hmm. oh, the magic. Right, and I get it. It was one of those movies for people who love cinema. Whatever. No, I love cinema. That movie sucked. Yeah. No, but you no, know, no, 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 no. Because they think they, they love cinema more. It's like, no, they no, don't. But, you, you, I think they don't love cinema. No, but you know what it is. It's one of those movies for people who like, I love artsy movies. and da, da, da. You know exactly what that yeah. movie is for. But that's crazy. Like they, film majors. They that's, think, a mo that's a yeah. movie for film majors. But those people think they love movies more. It's like, no, because I'm watching your movie, your no man movie, yeah. and I hate it. But I'm also watching other artsy movies and loving it. Right. I love American fiction. Yeah, I love poor, poor things. things. Yeah. Uh, and, and I also love Spider-Man Way Home. Like, mm. I love movies. Right. But they have to be good. <laughs> right. But that but that's why that movie is. That movie's for like fucking film majors who like act better than everybody, right? But I don't know how you see Nomad Land and you're like, this person will be good at making a superhero movie. Yep. This With her agenda. You also have, you watch Eternals and you can feel the agenda, bro. You can feel the, the diversity of it. Yeah. You can yeah, feel yeah. all of it. It's like, what the fuck is the was this the goal of this was not to make a good movie. The goal of this was so this woman director could be like, look at women making a movie. Right. And I remember that was the theme of it. Like, oh, they're letting a woman make a movie. Marvel was like, yo, suck a dick. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. shut up, bro. Make a good movie. Nobody cares. Right. I don't give a fuck who the director is, what he looks like. Gay, straight, woman. Bl right. Make a good movie, bro. Right. Shut the fuck up and make a good movie. Right. And I, and I did think this was, I, I, I sort of felt this way about the Marvels. And I never watched the, the show Miss Marvel or whatever. Terrible. Yeah. But I, I, I just felt like they were, they were so much like, 
hey, Muslim people, this one's for you. Yes. Or, hey, Indian people, or, you know, hey, Daisy people, this one's for you. And it's like, hey. Better, better. Yeah, yeah, hey, dude, I first of all, I don't care like that anymore. Like, I'm, I'm beyond the point where I need to see me be represented. Aziz already existed. Aziz came and went. And, yeah, and he was in great art. Rami's so, out there, bro. There's so Rami, much good. Rami's out there. There's some great there's art so out there. There's so much good brown art right now. Yeah, bro. yeah. So I am beyond watching something just because there's a brown person in it. Yeah. And I could tell, especially with the Marvel, uh, the Marvels, they're like, oh, look at it, say Bismillah. Mm -hmm. Don't you do that, Muslim people? It's like I don't give a fuck. Make something good. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Also, it's like I get like, oh, hey, Muslim people, we're doing the dance. It's like, hey, oh. my nigga, I'm from San Francisco. I like the Niners. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. of course I like. But you're right. Like I've I've already seen Muslim people. It'd be like me being excited that they're like. A black person is just in a movie. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. bro, who gives a fuck? I'm beyond that. Also, and this is something that both the Eternals and the Mar Miss Mar the Marvels did. Because there's a brown person in there, there has to be some sort of Bollywood-esque dance scene in has it. Has to be. Get the fuck out of here. Has to be. Get hey, stop. Stop. How about you just write a character that's brown? You know what? You know what Aziz's name in Parks and Rec was? Tom Haverford. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for not making us like the fucking a ding a ding a ding a ding. Mm -hmm. Thank you for not doing that to us. You, you, my Marvel, favorite bit, fucking MCU. My favorite bit. I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, the Parks and Rec about the Tom Haverford. You yeah. Know, where he's like, uh, mm -hmm. they like, like, what was your real name? And he's like, it was like Hussein uh, Saddam something, right? It was yeah. like something like that. And he was like, I mean, I changed it because, of course, at that time. You know, it was a bad name, yada yada. But I didn't know in 2008 this black guy was gonna be fucking president. <laughs> but yeah, like that shit was like, oh, what a great bit! Like, right? What a great way to play on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, it's not about that. And it, and it's just sort of the optics of the thing too. So in, in the end of the Marvels, I thought this was the funniest. I thought this was the funniest scene in the end of the Marvels unintentionally, bro. They're fucking crash landing the spaceship. Yep. The brother is praying. Yep. Doing an air, you know, doing a, 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 a classic prayer. Bro, the spaceship is crash landing in New York City. The One World Trade is in the back while he's doing this prayer. As they're crash landing into it. It's like, what are you, what, the optics of that is insane. Have them crash land in Chicago. Yeah. Have them crash land in a, it's like a field in Pennsylvania if you're going to do that. Yeah. Like, what do you, yeah, what do you also, do? Uh, I didn't think that. It's like, why? I get, like, hey, I get it. They're Muslim. They've said beta, beta, beta a bunch of times. They have fucking, they have like, uh, uh, in their home, they have a little thing mm -hmm. that says Allah. Mm -hmm. That like, a lot of Muslim people have that. I didn't mind as much as like, ah, Muslim people do have that. No, 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 real. but also they didn't like point at it and go, look. Look, Allah. <laughs> But I get it. It's so mm. if, if they're doing all these other obvious things, it makes that even. It's just like yeah. it's too much. It's all too much. Yeah, she has it. She goes Bismillah. It's oh like, my God! Shut up! Shut up! Are you expecting me to like this because she's in it? Also, they're all shit actors. Can we be honest? <laughs> Can we be honest, bro? They're, I mean, I hate I, to to be insulted, but like, mm. I'm not even gonna say shit actors. It's a bad script. It's a bad. It's a horrible. It's script. a bad script. It's a, it's a bad script. movie, and mm -hmm. I think the uh, these characters are unnecessary. So it's not that their fault. I don't give a fuck about this little girl and her powers suck. Mm -hmm. She can make her like I don't care. It's the, a weak power. They, I don't also, give a fuck about the black girl's power. They suck. Captain Marvel been sucked. Mm -hmm. They also their switching never made sense. They just no. sort of did it. Like how do they had control over who's switching who at the end? They never. They yeah. It's like it, it, they all just knew it. They figured they, it out. They so all fast. figured it out. There's no like yeah, yeah yeah. There's no character. They're all just now we can do everything. Hey, I'm a 16 year old girl and I can just do everything. What? And what 16 year old isn't like fucked up and uh, who has powers that like can't? Spider Man is constantly putting his friends in danger because he doesn't understand like the scope of what he's truly doing. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. You but know, all of a sudden, Miss Marvel just knows how to do everything. Yeah, and then it ends. You saw the ending where they're like forming a team of oh, of, of, of girls. Oh of yeah, the WNBA girl, yeah. Avengers. The WNB Avengers. But you can just tell it's like, bro, why y'all forcing this, bro? Yeah, yeah. Why y'all forcing this, yeah. bro? The reason the first shit worked. The reason uh, can we go back to the top? Mm -hmm. The reason this worked, and some of these movies suck, just mm -hmm. like the ones that did. Some of these movies not are terrible. Good, not a good movie. Terrible movie. Not terrible a good movie. movie. I've never actually. You know what? I've never. I did not know that was part of the MCU. I've never actually seen the Incredible Hulk. Ironically, we said uh, I actually did not know that's that was the part one of the MCU. with uh, Norton, Ed Norton. Right? It's actually really that's that's that was pretty good. Okay. Uh, People shit on it. I like Iron Man 2, but people shit on it. Iron Man 3 is not the good people shit on it, but it's whatever. Uh, Thor The Dark World is one of the shittiest movies. Yeah. I, I mean, so my point is, there are bad films in the beginning of this. Right. So it's, it's okay to make bad movies. Mm -hmm. But there wasn't an agenda. 
They, mm-hmm. That's how they were able to find it. Mm-hmm. That's how they were able to find the rhythm because they were trying to make good movies. They just made bad films. Right. The moment you put a, like an agenda on it, right. y- you've lost it. Right. Now you can't even, like, that's why it's like, it's going to be impossible for them to course correct. Right. Because they've already put all these agendas on stuff. Right. Of like, oh, we need a certain amount of women and we need a certain amount of this. We need a certain amount of colored people and brown. We got to do a Bollywood dance. Now it's like, well, you, now you've lost it. Right. It's not what it's supposed to be about anymore. Right. I mean, it started beautifully. Well, Iron Man's un- unbelievable. Movie. A birth. Yeah. Truly the a birth. You yeah. know what I mean? And they don't find stride. Look, because all these first movies, and some people have their own feelings about the first one. Some people like them, whatever. Right. But you have to admit, they do not find stride until Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Well, yeah. They don't, that, so Avengers is the first, like, this could be amazing. No, the, Avengers, Avengers is amazing. Avengers is amazing. But they're still, I'm talking about when they hit, when they hit stride, when it's they were Winter like, Soldier. now we're pumping. Yes. Now we're going. Yeah. Is Captain America Winter Soldier. Yeah, Winter Soldier, because then Guardians of the Galaxy was everyone was like, whoa, this is amazing. Whoa, in a back to back. The next Avengers, whoa, this is awesome. Yeah. Ant Man 1, people were like, oh, this isn't bad. Yeah, yeah, it was okay. Ant Man was okay. Every, it, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. Then Civil you see what I'm saying? They are hitting home runs. Yeah, Civil War, Doctor, Doctor Strange, Strange, Guardians, Guardians 2, uh, Homecoming, the Ragnarok. Woo! Keep yeah, going. Yeah, bro. It's this just is, keep going. This, this Phase is crazy. Three. Ant Man uh, Black Panther. Black Panther. Infinity War. Jesus. Ant Man and Wasp. Okay. Uh, yeah. Captain Marvel. Okay. Endgame. Whoa. Far from home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what's funny? Ant Man is so great in all the movies that isn't his. Yes. Ant Man is so interesting. Ant Man is amazing in every single movie that's not an Ant Man movie. Yes. All the Ant Man movies are like, what happened here? That, that batting, that streak right there mm-hmm. is, I mean, Phenomenal, dear fucking god, mm-hmm. dear god. So yeah, that my point. This is when they full on, they're in stride. They're uh, they're hitting home runs every time. Uh, it, it's truly this is this. You know, it's funny. This is like the young twenties of like if we're doing the life. The right, right. This is when it's a full young grown adult man, mm-hmm. and it's it's LeBron in his prime. Yes, yeah, he's yeah, twenty five. Yeah. He's still in his prime. Actually, it's like no. Kobe in his prime. Yeah, we're yeah, like, yeah. whoa. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Mm-hmm. He just put on 24. Right. And now he's going back to the finals on his own again. Yes. This is incredible run. Right, right, right. And the then... shitty movies up top are some of the rape years. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then, you know, you, All right, you so, okay, yeah, let's, yeah, let's go down. Let's go down. And then and Hold then scroll up again. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, this and that's crazy. 20 July 2nd, 2019. Then COVID happens. Yeah. Because the next movie doesn't come out to win. Till 2021. Can you scroll down a year- little bit? Yeah. Yeah. So there's two years. July. Off. There's two, Almost there's two a- exact. Two years exactly. Almost two years exactly. Yeah. What does Kobe, I think Kobe, Kobe, Kobe touches his Achilles. And he died for real. No. Well, he died. He dies. The helicopter crash happens, I think, after the Marvels. That's the helicopter crash. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're right. But I was yeah, actually, yeah. He actually died in between that. Oh, yeah. He actually <laughs> did die for real. I forgot. I mean, real, real, real Kobe died. Real Kobe died. Yeah. Uh, but. So there's a two-year gap, but in, in that two-year window, tell me if I'm wrong, that is when Loki comes out, Loki season one, well, WandaVision comes out, because that happened during COVID, correct? No, Loki came out when we were, WandaVision Loki came out. Can you pull up another, can you pull up a, pull up a separate one? Yeah, uh, WandaVision Loki came Lo- out when, uh, Loki I, and, uh, when I was in, when we were in Austin. Loki season one, Loki season one. That came out 2021, yeah, yeah, there, there was So no, post-COVID? Post-COVID. It came out when we, we were in Austin. J- June, I was already in Austin by June 9th. What? Mm-hmm. Wow, okay, when Wanda, Wanda, can you look up what WandaVision Wanda Vision, came out? WandaVision probably came out, I want to say, end of, beginning of 2021. Let's see, WandaVision came out. Here, just yeah, episode guide. January 15th. Yeah, and so beginning of 2021. Wow. Because I remember I watched the first few episodes of WandaVision with my sister. So they, these both came out before Black Widow, though, right? Oh, yeah, huh. Yeah, Black so okay. Widow, yeah, yeah. They came up before Black Widow. Here's the thing, though. These, now, th- these didn't kill it. The, like, you know I say the shows the shows were just stabbing it? Not yeah. these. No, they, these they, were like, oh, the shows are on they top of put, them. We thought, because at this time, I was like, oh, wow, they're putting the same amount of money and effort into the shows mm-hmm. that they are the movies. Right. And they went, WandaVision, Loki, they went back to back, two of the, I mean, absolute banger shows can still go back and watch them, and they're like, wow, these are good. Right. The moment the fucking Captain America one came out, the oh, Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier Falcon, that's when it was like, oh, they're kind of pumping these, and then they kept coming out, and yeah. they, things kept coming out, yeah. And now they've they've bled it, they yeah. just bled the horse dry. Winter, Winter Sol- I remember Winter Soldier, uh, uh, Captain, uh, the Winter Soldier Falcon, had a, he does this speech about race at the end, yep. And it's like, yo, the you're agenda, a, you're, uh, but also it's like, it, it was, it was to the point of like, 
how can you as a black man say this at, seriously? This is like they're paying you a fuck ton of money. They're paying you a fuck ton of money because it's like, wow, this is a this is. I don't know what take on race this is, but this is wrong from every single perspective. You know how bad it was? It was I would compare that speech to the Barbie speech. The homegirl thing where it's just, this is retarded. Like, remember she's saying, like, oh, uh, you know, when uh, being a woman is you can't be strong. You got to be strong, but not too strong. You can't be, which is crazy. She's like, you can't be mean. You can't talk back. You can't be rude. You can't rob people. And it's like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. I, I was so, like, she's like, oh, you can't be a, t a strict boss. And it's like, yo, what are you talking about? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. what the fuck are you even saying right now? Right. And that speech was the same. I think that's worse than the Barbie speech. They both are. My point is, no, I'm mm -hmm. saying, like, there is, that's the same uh, right. agenda, like where it's right. like, what is this? Right. This is not how people talk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's like, damn, with Barbie especially, it's like, damn, you went from a good movie to a... To a dumb moment. Yeah. Great, still a great film. Yeah, I, yeah, we could talk about that, about how just Bar Barbie was a good movie with a great movie stuck in it. But uh, <laughs> with a great movie that just wanted to come out and they just... They just yeah, but it ended up being, I thought it still, it still mm -hmm. was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now... Can you go back to the Marvel list, please, uh, Val? Because right now, the, the, it's still breathing. Right. The shows are fine. The moment these movies start, mm -hmm. they lose their way right. entirely. Well, yeah, it's like, I like Shang-Chi. I don't know. Shang-Chi's phenomenal. I don't know how he fits into the greater world. And it's like, he didn't. He hasn't appeared in any other movie. He hasn't, and now he's a part of the Avengers. Like, like what, what, like, why are you, like, not weaving in? When you go Thor, Love, and Th Thor's supposed to be with the Guardians of the Galaxy, and he just leaves them? So it's like, why did you why did you set up that? Because remember in Endgame, he yep. leaves with them. Yep. And then he just leaves them in Thor Love and Thunder to have his own story. And it's yep. like, no, no, have them all together. They also fucked up by firing James Gunn. Yep. And then they firing, brought him back. They, and they, he fired, fucking... they fired James Gunn over some tweets. And then that was kind of the beginning of the like, hey, why are we doing this to people? Like, we gotta stop. And then they hired him back immediately, but it was over. He it's jumped over. ship to DCU, which yeah, is yeah, can you slow down a little bit though? Th think about this. James Gunn. They, they hired him back for Guardians 3 to finish the story. But James Gunn jumped ship t from a sinking ship to a ship that was already sunk. Yeah. That's how, that's how you do like, oh, something's happening here. It's not good. I think, well, I think these superhero movies are, are I think the era is done. Yeah, it's, it's it bloat. There's too much of it. Too much. Too it's much. done. We, uh, we want something else. Uh, I mean, we just, we just, we do. We want something else. Mm -hmm. So it's dead. Mm -hmm. This is where it died, right here. This is the time. We, we, we noted the time. Yeah. Asad? Mm -hmm. How do we bring it back to life? <sighs> Fuck. Um, because look, let's let's go with what we got coming out. Mm -hmm. We got Deadpool Wolverine. That's gonna do great. That's gonna get people in theaters. We're right. gonna go like well, yeah. that's gonna I'm, that's gonna get our butts in the but, seats. But my, my, this is where it's the problem. Yeah. Captain America: The World. Come on, Thunderbolts. Can you scroll down a little bit, Val? Yeah, please. Uh, Fantastic Four. We don't know Blade. We don't know. Avengers 5 obviously will come and get us back in seats, but we don't know how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. They lost their goddamn main villain. Yeah. And they made him They made him a pussy. Yeah, yeah, he lost in Anime man Quarterman. And I know, like, oh, there's millions of versions of him, but, like, we've already seen him lose. I don't give a, f yeah, a million. And also, they, that the because mm -hmm. even that's how the Marvels ended, where she's in a different universe, when they, and they set up, the, yeah. uh, they're clearly setting up uh, X, the new X-Men. Right. Uh, you saw that, right? You know, yeah, it shows Beast and all that shit. And then the other. Also, uh, I, uh, you know how they do the, 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 the post credit scenes at the end? Yeah. This is also when they started losing people, the post credit scenes, when they're showing heroes that no one really knows. No one knows, no one cares. Yeah, yeah, So, like, why, why keep, they keep introducing new heroes. Remember yeah. Harry Styles at the end in of Eternals. Eternals? And it's like. I mean, bro, they haven't even brought up that in Eternals there's a fucking thing sticking out of the earth. Oh, yeah, they haven't mentioned that. No one's mentioned it. No one's brought it up. Yeah, it's almost like the Eternals. Never, they're trying to go past the Eternals. You can like tell. It never happened. And that's why it's like, Kevin, you're losing it. You can't do that. The yeah. whole, the beautiful part about all these movies was, even like Thor The Dark World, right? That movie sucked. Right. Everything still played into Inventor, Endgame. Like, remember in, back in time in Endgame, they had to go back to that movie yeah, yeah, yeah. to deal with shit. Right, right. Loki had to go, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. So it's like, they even uh, the, the original Captain America, like shit played in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The later, like right. with Bucky and stuff. So. You need the shitty movies. You can't just look past it, which is what they're doing. Which is what they're doing. Yeah, and, it's like no, you made a shitty movie. Mm -hmm. Put that in the stew and deal right. with it. Right, and but and I think a huge issue too is that like they introduced Blade. The fuck I believe is Armor Wars, dude. They introduced Blade. Oh, written by Yasser Lester. Remember Yasser Lester? Oh, I do. Uh, 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 Blade is um, what's it called? Blade. They introduced Blade at the end of uh, Moon Knight, and it's yes. like. Bro, if you now it's become if you haven't seen these TV shows, 
You don't know what's going on. Like, if you've never seen that the Hawkeye TV show, when at the end of Ms. Marvel, she shows up at Haley Stanfield's place, you're like, who the hell is this who woman? Who the fuck? I don't know who this is. I don't know who the, the brown girl. If you've never seen the Marvels, you're watching the new Captain Marvel movie like, who the fuck is a little brown girl? Yes. And yes. who the fuck is this black lady? Right, I right. don't know who they are. Right. I didn't know that she got the bangle from her grandmother. Yes. And that's like a huge part of the story. It's like, I'm <laughs> going <laughs> like, like, and why are you making like? Because now you're making people watch a bunch of like a, a shitty a, shows. A, a, also, a movie like making people watch twenty something movies is a lot. But I, but you've done a good job. So, I'm done a good, so you kept it. To ask people to watch all their TV shows, even if the TV shows were good, like you got to understand, like, because I've said this before, and people are like, it's just a TV show. Why not watch it? It's like, hey, I have a job. I have a life. I have a life. I want. I'm. Go, I'm going out and doing stuff. I'm meeting people. Like so, when I am watching a show, it better be good. I'm not gonna sit down and watch like, some bullshit. I don't have. I don't have time to watch seven TV shows. I. I don't have time to watch What If season two. I just don't. Yeah. I don't. I'm not gonna make schedule. Uh, I'm not gonna make that a part of my schedule. I got a fucking podcast to do. I perform at night. I want to have a life where I have fun with my friends. Go on dates. It's like yo, what? And you can't make What If season two. It has something to do with the Fantastic Four movie. Yeah. And it's like, what the fuck? You yeah. know what I mean? And now I'm supposed to go back and watch all that? Get the fuck out of here, bro. The movies, my favorite thing, the, the reason I say Infinity War is the, one of the best movies of all time. Yes. Still holds up and mm -hmm. is one of the best movies of all time. I don't give a fuck if you haven't seen anything. Mm -hmm. I can start you right there. Mm -hmm. You've done that before. Yep. I can start you in Infinity War. And not only are you not confused, mm -hmm. you understand what's going on. And like you can kind of place the history without even seeing the older movies. Right. Because they do such a good job of making it an individual film. Now, if you now what makes Infinity War better, obviously, is if you've seen everything. Yeah, okay. Makes it better. But do you need it? No. Mm -hmm. That's but that's what makes a great fucking movie. Right. That's what uh the Harry Potter movies are that way. If I start you on Prisoner of Azkaban, you're not like confused, nigga. You you get it? Yeah, yeah. You can figure you can, you can it figure it out. You can bars it together. I'm trying to remember, like, so at the at, in the Marvels, they talk about her. Like destroying the supreme intelligence and it destroying the planet that the yeah. Kree are on, but she doesn't do that at the end of the Marvels. Does she? She doesn't do that. No. No. She, she like just gives him the sun or some shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. At the end of Captain Marvel, she oh. doesn't go and do actually do that. It's just implied that she goes and do yeah. that. You don't see her do that. No, you don't see. When it. does she do that? So now it's like I had to have watched the Marvels and then made an inference on what she did to destroy this planet. And it doesn't really say how she destroyed this AI that run this planet. How did that kill their son? I don't know. What a shitty movie. Yeah, how did that destroy all the water in their planet? Like, what? Why do they do that? Why would you just spin? And then they... The, uh. And it's like, and and if we're being real, Brie Larson was a bad casting choice. Yeah, you know, it's funny because like, we... Because I, I, I like Brie Larson as an actress. I, I was going to say, she's not, I said she's a shitty actress. Not, I don't think any of them are shitty actors. I think they got given a bad script yeah. and they got given bad I, characters that they aren't supposed to be. Yeah, and I... I I thought, for, for what it's worth, I thought the uh, the girl who played the brown girl did the best she could with what that script was. She was the only one who actually, like, had, like, the emotion, like, some sort of emotion of, like, yeah, oh, but, she's yeah. excited to meet Captain Marvel. Like, I, th I, thought she did a, I thought she did a genuinely but good job. But the moment they did. had to do sad scenes, none of them could. Because yeah. the characters weren't real and you didn't believe it. And uh, yeah. it, it felt like watching early Thor or early Captain America where mm -hmm. you're like, I don't really believe this. Right. You, like, this, but th with those actors, though, they found it. First off, they tried to make Brie Larson more of, like, a Tony Stark. They're trying to make her, like, a leader and a funny. She's kind of snarky. And mm -hmm. it's like, no. Brie no. Larson's a great serious actor. Make you, Captain Marvel serious. Dead serious, yeah. nigga. Captain, what makes Captain uh, America funny is that he's serious. Also, also. In Captain Marvel, she's supposed to be super duper brainwashed. So it kind of doesn't make sense with her character to be crashing, cracking wise jokes. She should be as serious, programmed, and her deprogramming is what the movie is supposed to be about. She's not supposed to be this, look at me, be funny and everything. Yeah. yeah. No, you, you, put, you put funny characters around it. Mm -hmm. You put funny people around it. Mm -hmm. that you don't have to make her funny. Well, well, and, and here's the thing. And snarky. When, when the other characters were finding it, like Captain America, like Thor, they're finding it in their own movies. Like if anything, Miss Marvel should have had her own movie. If you're really trying to make her a character like that. Where they're trying to make her the new Nick Fury. Yeah. Fine. That's what you want to do. Give her own movie. Not some TV show that half the people haven't watched. Some people don't even have Disney+. Plus. Some people who... There's some people who love the MCU and they can't afford Disney+. Plus. And now you have gate kept them out of a series that they love. Because they... You know what I mean? Like, these are... This is some real deal. Americans have to be like, 
people in the world have to be like, look, I can't have all the streaming services. I guess I won't have Disney Plus. I'll have Netflix. I'll have Amazon Prime. Yeah. But I'll still go watch the Marvel movies because I love the movies. And now when they go watch the movies, they'll be like, fuck, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Because I have been locked out of this series. I mean. That's such an insane choice to me. They're clearly, because look, this is, I mean, with rebranding. Can you mm -hmm. go up a little bit, Val? Just a little bit. All right, so, uh, this is how I, I would say how I would revive this situation. Right. You you got you let Deadpool and Wolverine be what it is. You don't touch right. that. To, you let to, that. You let that's like Guardians. I'll say the Guardians. Yeah, you, let that, to, you let that be its own thing. And and we'll talk about this now because I'll tell you we'll talk about the Guardians. Later. The Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three was great, but that Perfect was also film. because it was it, the Guardians are, it's its own separate like like I didn't leave. I left. I left Guardians Three like that movie was amazing. Made me cry. But so good. I left Guardians Three and I wasn't excited for the rest of the series. I didn't leave Guardians Three like, oh, the series is back on track. No, I was like, James Gunn closed his story. Yeah, he, oh, Guardi the Guardians all day. That's yeah. beautifully done. That's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. And 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 if they ever come back and do a Guardians Four, they ever come back, I'm I'm back. Yes. I'm always back. It kind of has to me. It has to be Gunn though. Uh, That's what, no, what I'm saying. But yeah. if, they, if he came back and they made a Gu Guardians Four, yeah, I'm right back in the theater. Deadpool and Wolverine. I feel like Deadpool is in its own world like that. Like it's that. its own separate world. I thought Deadpool One was great. Didn't like Deadpool Two. No, I thought the kid who. But I'll still go out for Deadpool Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go. I'm not. Also, Hugh Jackman's Hugh back. Hugh Jackman's So I'm, I'm not. I'm, you got me. You already got me on my seat. So you don't have to do. There's no reviving there. Mm -hmm. That's that's fine. This is this Captain America. I'm not excited. I'm Brave not. Girl, I don't I'm have high excited. hopes. There's no way it's gonna be good, right? Because mm -hmm. a, the Captain America has no superpower. So what the fuck? Are we, it's Falcon. Right. The fuck is why is Falcon? Right. Captain America, he's and this, Falcon. And this is why people people who read the comics are like, in the comics, he's good, yeah, whatever. Nigga, that's not what we talk about, though, right. is it? We talk about in the movies with the fucking, guy, the Birdwing guy, yeah. <laughs> who with no powers. Mm -hmm. I need Captain America to be able to grab a helicopter and hold it. Right. That's right. why he's Captain America. Right. And this is, I, I'm also not excited, like, I wonder what they're, like, can we go up just a second? Because I want to talk about this right now, too. Black, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Because it's like, because, like, Black Panther's obviously going to have a, like, big role in these coming films. She has to. Yeah. Well, I mean, that it's also, I mean, that that one I, I hate because it sucked. Mm -hmm. The movie was terrible. Mm -hmm. But it's also not its fault. Right. That one is, uh, uh, I mean, the circumstances are just truly not its fault. Well. And it, where the universe is going also, I'm sure Kevin Feige's like, that fucked me. That fucked me. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't, you know, that, I, that guy was, was I, we were building the universe was, around him. It was supposed to be Spider-Man and him leading the next charge. Yes. Yeah. I will say this, and this is this is where black this is where Black Panther fucked up, like actually fucked up. That like he sure died. it wasn't his fault. No, no, <laughs> but him dying not their fault. They had to write around that that fucked up fucked Marvel's plans absolutely. This is where it's his fault at, the, at Black Panther's fault at the end when she doesn't kill Neymar and she becomes like the calm Black Panther. Uh -huh. I think they missed a huge opportunity to have like a Black Panther. Her brother died. She's unhinged. She just killed someone. Now you have to deal with an unhinged Black Panther in the universe. And, it's and a, there you have a storyline that you go. can be like, let's go. Oh, what's going on? Is Black now Black Panther and Wanda are both like kind of bad guys. She's still you can have her try to find her way through instead of finding her way immediately, like they do with all the women characters. Uh, now she has a now she's a real character. Yeah, she's bad. She's bad, and she, there's a redemption arc possible. Now the redemption arc is she's just good now. And she's, she's just, just a good the Black queen. Panther. She's just the Black Panther. And she knows how to do it already. And that's where they fucked up. They should have had her kill Neymar, and that could have been like, oh, there's a rogue Black Panther on the loose. The Avengers have to deal with this. Yep. And try to get her back on the right track, and like right. see if they can't, like you see said, if they, they can't they, get her on the right track, and get Wanda back. You're right. It's a whole. It's yeah. beautiful. That's a that that be a way to revive. Yeah, we are ready to revive, and now she can fight Kang because Kang beats women. So like now this whole thing going on, <laughs> this whole thing going on. But there. That, we can't go back because we, no, we that's can't a, go back because it already happened. It so already happened. Scroll back down. But I like where your head's at. Yeah, it's like, but you can't. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that can't revive it. Quantum Mania sucked. Quantum Mania sucked. Here's what I was gonna say though, mm -hmm. to re help revive. If I'm reviving it, okay, okay. So Deadpool's whatever. Captain America, Brave New World, you have to shock You have to shock people. Yeah. You truly have to shock people with a good movie. Right. You have to almost Captain America Winter Soldier where people are like, damn, that was good, and I didn't expect it to be that good. Right, you have right. to do that again. You right. have to literally do that again. But here's where the, your chance to revive it for real mm -hmm. is this. If you can make this Thunderbolts thing. Because no one really knows who they are. So you have a, you have a blank slate. You have a blank slate. Mm -hmm. Guardians are done. Mm -hmm. you can, if you can create a new Guardians vibe. Mm-hmm. That can help start breathing some air back into this thing, right? Because Fantastic Four people might be interested enough to see because it's a big enough name, right? And then if 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 we if you give me Deadpool Wolverine's good, even if this is bad, whatever. But this Thunderbolts thing is great. Mm -hmm. 
and Fantastic Four is good, just good. Right. Now you got me because you got me for Blade. You got me for a right. bit. And now, Blade, Blade's written by the guy who wrote Nick Pizzoluto. That's uh, the guy who wrote uh, True Detective. Oh, yeah, hangs out at the mothership all the time. Well, and also I heard Blade's gonna be rated R and dark, so that's why okay. it's like, oh, you already got me. And you, I, have, you have Mahershala Ali. Yep. So you, I'm go, mm-hmm. I, nine times out of ten, even if everything's bad, I'm probably gonna go see that, and then I'm gonna go see Avengers movies because right. they're Avengers movies. Right. Uh, but to revive it, to like get it br- like going again. You gotta shock. You gotta shock the world with those. These two are the most important. These are like right. two of the most important but, movies that they've ever had come out. But what, they can lo- if these both suck, they can lose. That, they can lose everything. But what do you what do you do now with Kang? Because the last thing we saw of Kang truly, I, and was I him seen, running away from a white woman. I haven't seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good point. That's the last thing we saw from Kang. Well, that version of Kang. From, yeah, there's that so version, many Kangs. Just true. There's many versions of Kang. There's a version there's of Kang where he. Where Kang kills that white woman and a waiter named Ron Goldman, or whatever his name was. <laughs> there's also a version of Kang where that happens. Uh, what's God that, Ron damn, Goldman? there's a version of Kang where he's chasing the white woman and she's Kang. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what's it called? But what do you do with Kang? Because the last thing we saw of him in the movies, I don't, I haven't seen Loki season two, but the last thing we see of him in the I've movies, okay, the last thing we see of him in the movies is that he loses, and then there's like a whole network of Kangs. But now Kang is done, right? They've dropped him. Can you look that up, though? Has, has Marvel dropped Kang? Because what do you do now? Look up Jonathan Majors uh, Kang. He's a K? Yeah. In, yes. Scroll down. Uh, let's see. Will ultimately go to jail? With Jonathan, with Jonathan, so it's been sidelined. Yes. So now what the fuck do you do? And and this is where I think another thing where the Marvel fucked up is is that they like you don't see you don't see Thanos until the end of the first Avengers. And then they're like, "Oh, there's someone behind Loki." Mm-hmm. Right? And then they and then they tidbits of him for years, which right. is beautiful. Right. You see Kang immediately in Loki. They I think what they kind of fucked up is they were, they were like one big, we had one big bad villain. We need one immediately mm-hmm. instead of building up like they did the first time. Yeah, where they sort of, sort of got drunk high on their own supply a little bit, and they're like, "Oh, we yeah. can go bad villain immediately, immediately, we, immediately." We shouldn't have seen Kang at all until until now. Un- and I mean, by see him, I mean like a glimpse of him. Not we, we, we definitely shouldn't see him fight. You know, we definitely shouldn't see him use his powers. You know what? Here's when we should have seen Kang when Spider Man opens the multiverse. You know, the three Spider Man they fight. Fucking, fucking, Doctor Strange closes up, makes everyone forget about Spider-Man. Yep, movie And is. then at the end credits, you see Kang being like, what happened there? What happened with this timeline? Yeah, and what then happened with it, this timeline? Just, boom! Yeah, yeah, And you don't see this nigga again until yeah. Secret Wars or whatever yeah, the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't see him again. Yeah. You hear about him, and Loki, you, you hear about or, him. And then you have Loki season one come out or which, whatever and, the and also, that's perfect because it's not him. It's the, the guy right. at the end of it, which right. is like, oh, so imagine if you just seen that. That's right. all you've seen. Right. Ant-Man Quantumania is about something else. Right, right. Which should have connected with Kang. Right. Maybe you see him at the end, at the end, of, the end of that one. He's like... What is going on with these timelines? Yeah, yeah. Like where he's like, he's why not is, getting. Why like, are there people jumping in timelines? This yeah, like I don't. Yeah, like he's like, what the fuck is this? And then you see maybe him kill another Kang too. It's yeah, like, this is you fail. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll deal with it. And myself. It's like, oh my god. And then also you, you hear the classic, I'll deal with it myself kind yeah. of line. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like, and then you still don't see him deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. until, until Avengers here. five. Mm-hmm. And then you really don't see him deal with it till whatever this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should just be him kicking ass. Right, right. Uh, but yeah, to me, that the only way to breathe it back. Can you go down to future? Is, is Thunderbolts of Captain America those? Wow, sh- untitled Shang. Yo, first off, another Shang Chi should have been out. Yeah, that's a gra- that was a great movie that people want to keep going. You're waiting too long. Mm-hmm. Another Spider Man sequel. You wait too long, and now like the public kind of doesn't like that guy. Who? Simu Lu. We don't like him now. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, like he's very he's very disliked on Twitter. Why? I don't know. He said something about race. Uh, and yeah, and you, know, you know how Twitter is about race. Not, but, not yet, but like, yeah, but yeah. But it's not like he's disliked, like, because he uh-huh. clearly it's not like to the point of like, oh, he did something like mm-hmm. Jonathan Majors level where we notice or know. Right. Oh, this is what it's about. Let's see what Armor Wars is about. Damn, yes. Yeah, so, it's so crazy that we were just doing friends and family with that guy and now he's writing an Avengers movie. Oh, it's going to be a series. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's going to be a series. Uh, the James Rhodes must confirm with Tony Stark's greatest fear, greatest fears is Stark tech falls in the wrong hands. That's kind of the whole thing, though. It's always the, the whole thing. Armor was set after Secret Invasion. I forgot about that even. What's the, what happened in Secret Invasion? Did you watch I, that? I watched some of it. I don't know if I finished it. Can you? Can you? Can I just see what? Because that that is the least. That's the lowest rated Marvel uh, thing. 
Yeah, because who the fuck cares? Yeah, yeah. A- Amelia Clark and Olivia Coleman were in that? Damn. Yeah, I forgot Amelia Clark's in it. Yeah. Nick Fury and Talos, which is the Cree, not the Cree, the other, what's the other one? Scrolls. Scrolls. The yeah. Scrolls. Shape Shifting Stars to Conquer Earth. Okay. They just didn't do a good enough job setting up this Captain Marvel universe and this whole scroll Cree shit. They just didn't do yeah, a good Yeah, that scroll job. Cree stuff seemed like they just threw it's, it in last second. They're trying to. And it's it's, just, it's, it's not I guess it's bloat. There's too much happening. It's bloated, bro. Yeah. It's a fat, it's it's Pearl. Yeah, it's Pearl. It's Mr. Krabs' daughter. It's a fat fucking whale. whale. <laughs> 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 but look, I mean, these untitled that are coming, these should all be bangers. You got mm-hmm. X-Men, you got Shang-Chi, you got Spider-Man. I'm excited to see what they do those with Those three X-Men. movies, those three movies, they have to kill. But, bro, I'm telling you, that that, that Captain America and that Thunderbolts could... That could kill them. Comple- like, that like could put the nail them. in the like, coffin, like they can't, they can't come back as a zombie. Right now, that's, <laughs> right now, it's dead, but there's still a chance to fucking revive yep. it. But because uh, here's the other thing. This is all... I'm banking the Thunderbolts and the Captain America joint only only based off if Deadpool and Wolverine hits like how it should. Because yeah. what if that, if that movie if that sucks, sucks... that's a whole fu- problem. Because now you can't have three in a row. You're telling me that sucked, and then Thunderbolts sucked, and then Captain America sucked? Right. Oh, you want me to wait until fucking screen scroll about? You want me to wait until Blade and Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four? I'm definitely if all those suck, I'm not going to see Fantastic Four. Right. Probably might not go. I might go see Blade just because it's rated R and it's got the guy. It's like oh, and it's different. Mm-hmm. And then of course I'm gonna go see an Avengers movie just because I'll be curious to what the fuck's right. going on. But, but you might lose me till 2026. But but and this is this is how I feel. Scroll up. If Deadpool or Wolverine suck, because I already didn't see, I already was like, I didn't see that in movies. I was like, I don't even see Marvel in the we, theater. We didn't see exactly. Yeah. Didn't see. That's if the first, this, and that's the first one I haven't seen in movies. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. First one I haven't seen in movies since all of them. Yeah. All of them. I I didn't see. I saw Thor and Captain America after they came out, but so that but everyone else I saw when they came out. Um. But if Deadpool or Wolverine suck, I'm not going to see this unless people tell me I have to see this. That's how I feel. Unless they surprise people. Unless people are like, you got to watch the new Captain America. Like they were saying about Winter Soldier. People were like, you have to watch Winter Soldier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember so they that. have to say that about Captain America for me. If and if Deadpool these both suck, are suck. you going to see Thunderbolts? No. So if, they, if these all suck, they lost you till the next Avengers. Yeah. But even then, it's like. No, I'm going to go see an Avengers. And now at Avengers, you're going to go. go. Yeah. But Just because you're no, all the Spider-Man's in it, nigga. You curious. You curious? Get out of here, bro! It's an Avengers movie. But again, twenty twenty six is a long time. It's a long time. There's but a lot of things that can change in that a lot amount of, things of time. That can change. But I mean, you know, yeah, bro. I, I just that's my only way to bring it back to life because it's dead. It's it's truly it's, dead. Yeah, Marvel was so bad, so bad. Just it it almost like they it's almost like they had no plan for it. It felt like the script was written by an AI. Yeah. It's like wh- why do I why do I care about this beautiful villain? <laughs> Why do I care? Like what? The villain sucked. Yeah, yeah. She just. Uh, I had. Uh, she was also clearly supposed to be like the guy. She had the same weapon as the guy from the first Guardians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the uh, guy's a Kree. Yeah, you know, and it, you tell that, but it's like that was her vibe. Like you tell, they wanted her to be a villain, kind of. They like wanted her to be a, f- a female Ronan. A Ronan, and it's like. <sighs> I don't give a. The shit. fight scenes were so weak. Yeah, they were. I mean, terrible. Mm-hmm. Terrible fight scenes. Well, because it was you know, women. It was a bunch of it was the Avengers as I said I said this on stage. I don't want to see my Avengers do layups. I want to see them slam dunk. Yep. And I'd say because it just you see like the girls throwing the punches, bro. It's just like, damn, this isn't. I want to see a roided up dude. <laughs> there's a reason, bro. There's a reason. No, because like well, think about this. Hold up. There's okay. a reason those 80s action movies mm-hmm. hit. Mm. We want to see a gigantic roided up guy mm-hmm. do stuff. Okay. Counterpoint. Sigourney Weaver, 80s action star. Roided Black, out of her guilt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Black, Pan- Black Panther. Not Black Panther. Black Widow. Her fight scenes. Unreal. Her fight scenes are awesome. It's not that it's... And, and, and it's not that it's women. I it's know that, not yeah. that it's... It's that the characters are bad. Yep. And then because the characters are bad, we also go... And they're women, like you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> and and is that fair? No. No. Is that is that is that a hump that all women have to kind of get over? Yeah. Yes. Sorry, that's how it is. He has to get over stuff as a black man. I have to get over stuff as a brown dude. That is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Just, if, if you're a minority, I'm sorry, white women, you're still like you got to figure it out. Like we have to figure it out. It is what it, it is. Out. Everyone has to figure it out. Just have to figure it out. And don't force feed it. But yeah. they're going to. They're going to force feed us more bullshit. Mm-hmm. And just, I, like, uh, I just know for a fact the Brave New World shit's gonna be so gay. 
Yeah, you can already call it the Brave New World. It's going to be so gay, bro. Captain America having to deal with racism. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? What are we doing? Yeah, I I hate that it's over. It's a... Uh, it it's, was a, it's a run that, you know what, if it, it, I mean, I'm assuming it's going to feel like when LeBron's done or t- how Tom Brady's done. And mm-hmm. it's like, damn, what a run. Right. What a legendary run that we won't see again. Right, right, right. You know, we'll see other great things. There's Patrick Mahomes. Mm-hmm. There's all this cool stuff. But we'll never see that again. We'll never see that. That was yeah. Tom Brady. We saw that. And that I was mean, that. They had like 20 something movies. They, they had a whole storyline in a week, 20 movies. And that truly, truly was incredible. No one's done anything like that. It was a feat. <laughs> Changed of, culture. Of cinema changed culture. Made people superhero movies made them like legit, legit, legit. Because even though like the the Nolan Dark Knight movies they were legit superhero movies, but those were Nolan movies. Yeah. This was a this was a real deal comic book superhero movie franchise. Yeah. that was unbelievable, unreal, and should have gotten more love from the Oscars. Probably to me, also one of the reasons why the Oscars were dying was that they refused to look at superhero movies like their movies, like in the way that they refused to look at comedy movies like yeah. their movies. They're just so disconnected from what America likes, what's great about America. To not give Robert Downey Jr. an the Oscar, Oscar for Endgame, but, yeah, is mm-hmm. absolutely. Atrocious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Atrocious, bro. Mm-hmm. Thanos guy, as well. Kevin Feig should get some sort of honorary Oscar for Feig. I don't know how to pronounce the yeah. name, actually. Kevin Feig just should for, get, just, just for, for just whatever for he did. Doing the what run. he did. The run that man had. Yeah. To make movies like a TV show. <sighs> Unreal. Like, and, 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 and at the end, we, we were shitting on this a lot. And at the end, it's, like, it's coming from a place of how much we love this series. Yeah. Yeah. You hate to, you know, you hate to see your friends die. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but we all go. All good things must come to an end. All good things must come to an end, and mm-hmm. it, it does suck because we're because it's like, oh man, there's all, there's more Marvel movies coming out, and there's more cinematic universe, and it's like, yeah, but it's over. They know what time it is. There's a reason we're doing this episode because right. it's like, no, nah, it, it is over, bro. Mm-hmm. That era is over, you know. And it's kind of nice. It's like, right. oh man, we're gonna enter a new era of film. We're gonna enter a new era of entertainment and right. culture things happening. Mm-hmm. So that's cool, right? Because it won't be this, right? R.I.P. MCU. R.I.P. MCU. And that was our episode today. Mm-hmm. We're sorry that we killed it. Yeah. <laughs> We're sorry that we killed the cinematic universe that we all loved. Oh, but we had to do it. What's oh, up, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Now that, you know, you guys are into movies and the waves that they come in, what is the next wave, right? So if superhero movies, which I agree was the prominent, mm-hmm. what brought us together, what is the next? A24. A24 into, into like uh, original movies again. Uh, I think we're going to hit, hopefully, I mean, this would be amazing. Mm-hmm. We hit another 90s era of film yeah. where it's just nonstop original movies. There are no more sequels. Like, like where it's like you rarely see sequels. I see I, this new age of movies, I think, started with everything, everywhere, all at once. Mm-hmm. That's the level of everything, everywhere, all at once. This poor things, this American fiction like this, like actual original they're not based on anything. They're not remade. We've, well, we have two, two, sort of two. It's like two timelines. A not ridiculous budgets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These, uh, uh, Jordan Peele also helped this as Jordan well. Jordan Peele, yeah. Get out, get out, nope. And then, of course, Tarantino Us. and Scorsese just still make Killers of the Flower Moon. Like, right. the fact that they're just still doing well, their things. They've been constant throughout all this. They're sort yeah. of like, but it's like that. So, but, but that's what I mean. That's the sort of new wave of like, bro, you got to see everywhere all at once. You got to see new poor things. Like that. It's the A24, these like, gotta these type nope. of movies. You got to see, see nope. yeah. I think people were, I didn't watch Salt Burn. A lot of people. Everyone was talking about Salt Burn, but, yeah, they, yeah. but uh, I, I, you know, I don't want to see a guy be gay. That it's, long. It's, it's, it's white gay get out. That's yeah, what it's like. white gay get out. That's and, what it looks uh, like from, the, still, from the mean, theory. <laughs> from the, but if you love it, well, we're not shitting on it because of that. It I've, just, heard, I've heard it's incredible. Uh, mm-hmm. And I, was, I mean, I just haven't seen it yet. But, yeah. I, you know, I didn't also, you know, it's funny because I remember how gay, I didn't see Brokeback Mountain for a while either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's a phenomenal movie. It's great. But, Brokeback you know, Mountain's sometimes unreal. you hear about how gay something is, like, bro, I'll get to it. Yeah. I don't need to <laughs> rush to this gay shit. Yeah. Like, I'll know, I'll, I'll get to it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I heard about how it's overly gay, though. It's, like, intense. Well, it's like, it's it's like Poor Things is, like, overly poor sexual, too. Intense. But it's like, I like Emma Stone. I was like, oh, I guess I'm going to see Emma Stone Stones. <laughs> uh, decent milk. Um, <laughs> decent milk. Decent milk. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I think I think he's right, uh, Val. I think the new the new. I mean, and I'm hoping this uh, also this wishful thinking mm-hmm. is that it be original films, uh, not big budgets, right? Just original cool yeah. ideas and films. and then and then the big studios are kind of saddled with they, they now are run by these marketing guys. That's why you see you are seeing another Ghostbusters or yeah. remake of it because these big studios are stuck in making these remakes and they'll always stick with Tarantino and uh Nolan Scorsese and, yeah. uh, like the known directors but they won't take chances on anyone new they won't like any uh, the the you know and, and you see this in Ho- I think Hollywood is like 
Hollywood is definitely losing its grip on it. You know what I mean? It's like they, they've been t all the creatives don't run the things anymore. It's all executives who are all about marketing and making money. And that's why that's why most creative the people are on the internet. Yeah, most creative people are on the internet. Are on the internet, and like Hollywood is gonna Hollywood. Those big studios, those major studios, and TV major studios are gonna go the way of AI writers. And like this is what mm -hmm. they're gonna put in a formula of things that made money in the '80s and '90s and early 2000s, and they're just gonna re try to redo those and films, and they're to, never gonna capture it. You don't have to pay anyone. Yeah, they're never gonna capture it. Yeah, ever, ever, ever. But because they the thing about marketing people is that they don't realize like people like new things and they like art. They don't like. I remember when Will and Grace came back. They're like, they're, you've been waiting for it, and they're back. It's like, hey, no one was waiting for Will and Grace to come back. Zero people. people there were people run. who loved Will and Grace that were like, we don't need it back. I can watch the, I'll it. watch the old episode. I'll, I'll just watch Will and Grace mm -hmm. if I want to watch Will and Grace. I don't want to see, oh, Seinfeld is back. I don't give a fuck. Arrested Development is back. I don't care. Nope. Make new things. Make new things. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so I hope Val, that uh, that's where it takes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so, too. Out. I think... Um, I think everywhere all at once was the thread of like multi universe is the play. Well, it's that's always been the play. I think the Marvels kind of started that. Like, yeah. Marvel, yeah. like Doctor I, Strange. Yeah, Doctor yeah. Strange. Yeah, they, they opened yeah, that. Oh. yeah, they opened they opened up the multiverse. I do think people are gonna get sick of the multiverse soon. I think so too. So mm -hmm. I, I'm hoping that it it ends up being more that they're hitting on the surrealism and that we're en entering this like surreal. Everything is a play on like, is this a dream? Is this real? That's true. Poor things is very surreal. Uh, yeah, American Fiction. I have to watch that, but I've yeah, heard same, same vibes. Uh, yeah. But I love that. Uh, good movie. Uh, I mean, all the Jordan Peele's movies feel that way. Yeah, you know, the all exactly. real. Tarantino mm -hmm. movies feel that way. Uh, good films. Good mm -hmm. films should, should feel that way. It's it interesting. Like, a like a oh, we're entering a surrealist era of movies, and I'm yes. here for it. I'm, I'm here. here oh, my God. That's something I'm, I get my dick all hard. Mm -hmm. I'm back in the theaters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you killed the goose again. Guys, this was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a fun time. Yes. Nerding out with my brother. Hell yeah. Nerding out with my brother. Nerding out with Val. Oh, Oh, happy birthday, Val. Guys, oh, it's Val's, Val's birthday. birthday. Val Yay. is 75 years young. Today. Yeah. <laughs> She's uh, addicted to fentanyl. She looks fantastic. Yeah, she, she head bangs with her whole body. Head bangs with her whole <laughs> fucking body, don't yeah. you, dude? <laughs> that's, a, that's a great bumper <laughs> sticker. <laughs> I head bang with my whole body. Yeah, yeah. that's a, Val literally said that today. She walks in and she goes, we go, how was the eclipse? She went to an eclipse rave. <laughs> like, how was it, Val? She's like, dude, for, this is how she talks. Dude, fucking awesome. <laughs> head bangs with my whole body. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Who is this guy? Uh, yeah. But we love her. Yes. Happy birthday, Val! Thank you. Uh, solid show, fans. We love you guys. Yes. Thank you for listening. Thank man. you. Thank you for nerding out with us. Mm -hmm. You know, and just being silly little gooses with us. Mm -hmm. Alive gooses. Yeah, silly little gooses that he doesn't throw rocks at. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, man, I'm so excited. Uh, we have a fun guest for you guys next week. Mm -hmm. So I hope you love that, and hope you get home safe. Mm -hmm. Whoa. But yeah, make that just noises. <laughs> 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 <laughs>